we have studied how to find maxima and minima for a function in one variable as well as in more than one variable in calculus. Now, there are many practical situations where we need to find maxima and minima of a function subjected to a given constraint. Say for example, suppose we are given a function say fxy and we need to maximize or minimize this function and we call this function as objective function. Subject to the constraint gxy equals 0. So this is our constraint. So in these questions, we need to find maxima and minima of this function f when gxy equals 0. Now we solve such questions using Lagrange's method and in this we define a Lagrange's function L x y lambda is this function f which in this case is a function in two variables f x y and then plus or minus lambda and then this given constraint which in this case is g x y. So this is a Lagrange's function and this variable lambda it is called as Lagrange's multiplier. Now what we'll do is we'll find gradient of this function and we'll put it equals to zero. So we'll define del L by del X and we'll put it equals to zero. Del L by del Y equals zero and del L by del lambda equals to zero. And we'll solve these conditions to find maxima and minimum of this function subject to this given constraint. So basically, once we have defined this function in terms of x, y and lambda, we can use multivariable calculus to find maxima and minima for this Lagrangian function. So all the concepts we have studied in multivariable calculus like Hessian matrix and all, they'll come handy in this situation. I'll provide the link to the multivariable calculus playlist in the description below. Now there are numerous applications of Lagrange's method. So what we'll do is we'll take up an example from microeconomics and then we'll try and apply Lagrange's method for optimization problem. Say for example, we are given that a firm uses two inputs K and L of capital and labor respectively to produce a single output Q according to the specific type of production function Q, K to the power A and L to the power B where A and B there greater than zero. Now we are also given that prices of capital and labor they are R and W respectively. Now it says we need to find cost minimizing inputs of capital K and labor L. So first we need to define what is our objective function in this. Now our objective is to minimize cost and cost it is given by cost of capital which is R into K plus cost of labor into quantity of labor which is L. So this is our objective function subject to the constraint that Q is K to the power A and L to the power B. So now it becomes a candidate for Lagrange's method. So in this case, we'll first define Lagrangian function. So it'll be this L. Now it is a function of K, L and lambda. And we'll write this as this RK plus WL, which we need to minimize and then plus lambda. And then this equality constraint, which is Q minus K to the power A into L to the power B. Now we'll find its gradient. So we'll find del L by del K and it'll be this R minus lambda and it'll be A K to the power A minus one into L to the power B and it'll be equal to zero. So from here we can write R equals lambda A K to the power A minus one L to the power B and that's our first equation. Now we'll differentiate this function with respect to L. So we'll write del Lagrangian function upon delta labor and it'll be equal to W minus lambda and it'll be equal to B into K to the power A, L to the power B minus one equals zero. So from here we can write this W will be equal to lambda B K to the power A and L to the power b minus 1 and that's our second equation and then we'll differentiate this function with respect to lambda so we'll write del l upon del lambda and in this case we'll get q minus k to the power a l to the power b equals to 0 
which is nothing but a constraint equation so which is q equals k to the power a and l to the power b and that's our third equation now what we'll do is we'll divide first with second now if we divide first with second we can write r upon w lambda a k to the power a minus 1 l to the power b upon lambda b k to the power a l to the power b minus 1 now this lambda will cancel now k to the power a minus 1 will cancel and l to the power b minus 1 will cancel so from here we can write k upon l will be equal to a w upon b r and that's our fourth equation now from this we need to find k and l and we know that k to the power a into l to the power b is q so what we'll do is we'll take this function to the power b both sides we can write k to the power b upon l to the power b will be equal to a w upon b r whole to the power b and then we'll multiply and divide k to the power a in the left hand side now k to the power a into l to the power b it is nothing but q so from here we can write k to the power a plus b will be equal to q into a w upon b r whole to the power b so from here we can write cost minimizing input capital k as q to the power 1 upon a plus b into a w upon b r to the power b upon a plus b and this is our first answer now we'll also need to find cost minimizing input of labor now we know that k upon l is a w upon b r so we can write l as k into a w upon b r to the power minus 1 so it will be q to the power 1 upon a plus b into a w upon b r b upon a plus b and then this minus 1 so it will be this minus a so we can write l as q to the power 1 upon a plus b upon b r by a w to the power a upon a plus b and that's a cost minimizing of labor n and this is a second question now third question is we need to write down cost function of the firm now we know that cost function is r k plus w l so we can write cost function of this firm as r into k and k is q to the power 1 upon a plus b into a w by b r to the bar b upon a plus b and then plus w l and l is q to the bar 1 upon a plus b into b r by a w to the bar a upon a plus b now we'll take q to the bar 1 upon a plus b common so we can write this c as q to the bar 1 upon a plus b now this is r to the power 1 upon r to the power b upon a plus b so it will be r to the power a upon a plus b and it will be w to the power b upon a plus b and here it will be a upon b to the power b upon a plus b now the same way it will be w upon w to the power a upon a plus b so it will be w to the power b upon a plus b r to the power a upon a plus b into b upon a to the power a upon a plus b now here we can take this common so we can write this cost minimizing function c as q to the power 1 upon a plus b into r to the power a upon a plus b w to the power b upon a plus b into a upon b to the power b upon a plus b plus b upon a to the power a upon a plus b and that is the answer to this question so we have worked out all the three cases so once we are given an objective function with an equality constraint we can always use lagrange's method to find its optimal solution hello and welcome to the world of mathematics 
I present my website www.mathsmarazin.com and my YouTube channel Mathsmarazin for your kind perusal. If you like this and are inspired by the possibilities, then consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Thank you.